In this video, I would like to talk about eight signs of audience being girls. Before starting, I want to clarify that while there are no distinct differences in the core symptoms of ASD between boys and girls, some studies have suggested that there may be variations in how the disorder manifests and is diagnosed. So, here are eight signs that are often observed in girls with ASD. First, Social masking. Girls with ASD may be better at imitating and coping social behaviors to fit in, making it harder to recognize their challenges in social interactions. For example, a girl on the spectrum observing that other girls in her class enjoy talking about fashion and celebrities starts reading fashion magazines and watching popular TV shows to keep up with the conversations. She can blend in with her peers to some extent, but it comes at a cost. She finds it exhausting to constantly monitor and adjust her behavior, which can lead to anxiety and burnout. Second, intense interest. Girls with ASD may develop intense and narrow interests, similar to boys with ASD. However, this interest can sometimes be more socially acceptable or aligned with typical girl interests, such as music, art, or literature. For example, she may have an intense interest in Barbie dolls. She may spend hours reading books and articles with Barbie dolls watching shows and collecting Barbie dolls. Her bedroom is filled with Barbie dolls and she easily can name each one of them. Third, empathy. Girls with ASD may have a strong desire to connect with others and exhibit a high level of empathy. They may mimic or imitate the social behavior of other peers to compensate for their social challenges. For example, if a girl on the spectrum would see someone crying, she would show a deep sense of concern by sitting down next to the other person, silently offering her presence and support. It is important to acknowledge and appreciate the unique ways in which individuals with ASD, including girls, express empathy. While their expression of empathy may differ from neurotypical individuals, their care and concern for others should be recognized and encouraged. Fourth, language and communication skills. Girls with ASD may have better developed language and communication skills compared to boys with ASD. However, they may still struggle with pragmatic language and understanding social cues. The language of a girl on the spectrum and her communication skills may vary in a different context. In structured settings, such as her therapy session or classroom, she may demonstrate more advanced language abilities. However, in unstructured social situations, she may struggle with initiating and maintaining conversations or interpreting nonverbal cues from others. Fifth, sensory sensitivities. Similar to boys, girls with ASD may experience sensory sensitivities. However, they may have different preferences or sensitivities such as being overly sensitive to certain textures, sounds, or smell. For example, when in a noisy environment such as crowded classrooms or busy shopping malls, a girl on the spectrum may become overwhelmed and anxious. Even moderate level of noise can feel unbearable to her. The sound of multiple conversations, ringing bells, or sudden loud noises can cause her distress, leading to sensory overload. 
she may cover her ears, cry, or seek a quiet space to retreat from the overwhelming sensory input. In addition to noise, she may experience tactile sensitivities, sensitivities to certain smells such as strong odor, perfumes, or cleaning products. Sixth, rigid thinking and anxiety. Girls with ASD often exhibit high level of anxiety. They may struggle with changes in routine or have specific rituals and routines that they adhere to strictly. For example, a girl in the spectrum may express the strong need for routine and predictability in her daily life. Any deviation from her established routine can cause her significant distress and lead to rigid thinking patterns. For instance, if the morning routine is disrupted due to a change in the schedule or unexpected event, she may become overwhelmed and struggle to transition to the new situation. She may have a specific way of doing things and struggle to consider alternative perspectives or approaches. 7. Socialization While girls with ASD may find it challenging to engage in large group settings, they may feel more comfortable socializing in small, one-on-one -on -one or small group interactions. For example, a girl on the spectrum finds it challenging to engage in a group activity or initiate conversations with her classmates. She often feels like an outsider and experiences difficulties joining ongoing conversations. Her attempts to participate may sometimes be met with confusion or indifference from her peers, further reinforcing her feelings of social isolation. Eight and last late diagnosis. Due to their ability to camouflage and mimic social behavior, girls with ASD often receive their diagnosis later than boys. This delay in diagnosis can result in challenges in receiving appropriate support and interventions. The camouflaging, social expectations, and gender stereotypes Diagnostic criteria bias and co-occurring conditions are factors that contribute to the late diagnosis. Please keep in mind that these signs or characteristics are generalizations and not all girls with ASD will exhibit the same traits. ASD is a spectrum disorder and individuals may have a wide range of strengths and challenges. I hope this video provided you with information about the common signs of autism in girls. If you have any questions, type them in the comments below. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe as I will be sharing important information on how to help individuals with autism reach their full potential in my weekly videos. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.